What are you coming to here? Happy Easter! Happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday. Listen, we had a great day at Finisher's Church. It was our last uh, uh, Easter as Finisher's Church. And uh, we had awesome worship. And Anthony Jolo came and, uh, and, and he ministered on the guitar. And Crystal ministered uh, on the uh, uh, via her voice and just led us into worship. It was a great day. Um, three things that we spoke about. Uh, one is that uh, all because of Jesus uh, and because of Jesus Christ um, uh, that there is a hold up and how God will hold some things for you when Jesus Christ was held up on that cross and j just like uh, uh, the earth uh, uh, stayed still and the day was prolonged uh, with, with Joshua um, and uh, when he spoke to the sun and told the sun to stand still uh, that God held that for him just like uh, held, he held back the rain for Elijah, God will hold back some things that the enemy cannot devour you, and it's all because of Jesus. And we just celebrated that. The Bible says in Colossians one, uh, how how uh, His is the is the complete control, and uh, His is the um, uh, the cohesive uh, factor uh, in the universe. I believe that's what it says, something like that, from the Amplified. And then the last, uh, um, I think, the second point was that. Our lives are not defined by anything that we do. Our, our lives are defined by what Christ did on Calvary. And the things that we do are just refining, not defining. Job uh, 28, it talks about how there is a vein for the refining of gold. So we've got to understand that, that everything that we've gone through is so that we would be refined, not defined. We're only defined by what God did or by, by what Christ did on Calvary. The last one was that it's all because of Jesus that we can love people in, uh, instead of judging them for the things that the blood of, of Jesus Christ covered. And I just told a personal story about something that happened with me recently and I'll share with you in this upcoming week on our e-church. And uh, it was just a great day. Look forward to speaking to you uh, more next week just about destiny and things that we go through as believers. And uh, just look forward to a great post resurrection season. Resurrection is not something that should just be celebrated one day. If you only do it one day, then uh, then pity the fool, as the song says, because we don't want to uh, celebrate resurrection. The fact that Jesus Christ came out of the tomb uh, on one day, but then after we, we experience the fact that we have also been resurrected, uh, how silly of us uh, it would be for us to then go back into the tomb after Resurrection Sunday, right? So stay up out of that tomb, uh, walk in the new life, and walk in this resurrection power that, that you have that Jesus Christ gave to you. Listen, I love you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. I'll see you next Sunday at 10 a.m., 579 Compton Avenue. Get ready to come in with Thanksgiving and joy, with your hands lifted, ready to give God praise and receive the word. God bless you. Peace. 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 Ah! <laughs>